Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see one more approach to solve the multi-stage graph problem. So the multi-stage graph problem means finding the shortest path from source to destination. Right? So in our previous session we have seen one approach that is a forward approach. Now we will see the backward approach in order to solve this multi-stage graph problem. multi-stage graph and this is a backward approach so in our forward approach we have started from the destination and we have traveled through the source and now quite opposite we have to start from the source and we need to travel through the destination right so here there are a lot of stages we can see it is one second stage third stage and fourth stage so usually we are representing a stage with a k so k1 is a first stage where we are having only one vertex a and k2 is a stage which is having three vertices b c and d k3 is another stage which is having three more vertices e f and g now h is a fourth stage only one vertex that is a destination starting from one so in our forward approach we have started from the destination itself now we have to start with the source and the formula is same we need to find the cost of source to destination so here k is equal to one which is having only one vertex so we need to find out cost of a to a source to destination so here source and destination both are equal obviously that will be the distance distance between a to a which is equal to zero because we are at source and we are at distance i mean destination so the distance between source and destination is zero because both are same right now there are only only one uh, vertex in stage one because it is a source so completed now go with the second stage where we are having three vertices B, C and D. So we need to find out cost of source to B, cost of source to C and cost of source to D. So one thing we have to remember how many incoming edges for B, C and D. Because we are traveling from source to B. So if B is having two edges, that means there are two possible paths from source A to B. So then we have to find out the minimum among those two. So here we are having only one incoming edge for B, C and D, you can see. So we need not go with the minimum. So only one calculation will be there. So that will be cost of A comma A plus distance of a comma b that means edge and here also cost of a comma a plus distance of a comma c here also cost of a comma a plus distance of a comma d so here we are at source so that's why you need not write this one directly we can go with the edges right so if you are at e then what how to reach to e so you can reach a to b b to e similarly a to c c to e so this we are computing here right so this will be the cost of a to b plus distance of b to e that means whatever the vertex is so just before e that is already computed so the, in in the same way now we are at A, so the cost of A to A plus A to B, cost of A to A plus A to C, cost of A to A plus A to D. So we can compute here, cost of A to A is 0, which is already computed in our previous stage. So that is a dynamic programming. So complete problem will be divided into different solutions, I mean different sub-problems and each sub-problem will be solved and the solution will be saved in the memory so that in order to avoid the recalculation right so cost of a comma a is already computed which is 0 0 plus distance of a and b which is 1 so finally 1 and here 
cost of a to a it is 0 plus distance of a to say c is 2 so totally it is 2 and here again cost of a to a is 0 plus a to d it is 5 so it will be 5 so in order to reach from a to b the distance is 1 a to c it is 2 a to d is it is 5 now so any other vertices in the stage 2 no b c d so we have found already the distance from source to b source to c source to d now go with the 3 stage 3 so what are the vertex available in d 3 e f and g now we need to find out cost of a to e a to e so how many ways we can go to e right so how many incoming edges so find out the incoming edges of e so incoming edges of e are two one is from b another one is from c so we need to find out the cost of a to b a to c and then the distance of b to e so and we we have to use a minimum value so which is the cost of a to b plus distance of b to e similarly cost of a to c plus distance of b to c so we need to find out the minimum among these two because in order to reach e vertex e there are two possible paths from the source one is through b one is through c so cost of a comma b already we have computed in our previous stage cost of a to b is one plus d of b e distance of b and e it's a four so which is totally fine and coming to the cost of a to c already computed in our previous stage it is 2 distance of b and c sorry this is not uh, b and c c and e right c to e which is this is level right okay b okay so c to e it is 9 so it is 9 which is 11 so among these two which is a minimum this one we need to consider this one okay now any other edge a to f cost of a to f so in order to reach f you can see in order to reach f what are the incoming edges to f two edges two edges so what are those two edges one is from c okay another one is from b so we need to reach a to c a to b and then only we need to go with the c to f so we need to find out the minimum of so cost of a to b plus distance of b to f similarly cost of a to c plus distance from c to f we need to find out the minimum cost of a b already computed here 1 plus distance of b and f b and f distance is 11 so total it is 12 then cost of a and c cost of a and c already computed so which gives a 2 result plus distance of c and f c and f is 5 so it will be 7 so we need to consider 7 itself Okay, now now cost of there is a one more vertex G. So source to G. So how many edges, incoming edges for G? You can see two edges. Two edges. One is from C, another one is from D. So we can travel from A to C and A to D. So which one we have to pass? Okay, which one we have to select? Minimum path. So here also we need to find out the minimum value among, among the cost of A to C plus distance from C to G. Similarly, cost of A to D plus distance of D to G. So cost of A C already computed which is 2 plus distance of C G C and G 16 total 18. 
so cost of a and d cost of a and d is 5 distance of d and g distance of d and g is 2 so which is 7 so we need to select this one okay so any other vertex we have find out the uh, distance from a to e a to f and a to g so both e f g all are from stage 3 okay so this is stage 2 and this is stage 1 this is stage 1 right now going to the stage 4 so which is a destination so here we are having only one vertex that is h so one constraint in multi-stage graph is there should be only one source and one destination so if any stage is having only one vertex that will be the destination now we need to find out the cost of source to destination source to destination so in order to go with h what are the incoming edges you can see one is from e another one is from f another one is from g so through e what is the cost between a to e a to f and a to g because source is a itself right so already these we have computed in our previous one these we have computed in our previous stage because e f g all are in stage 3 so here we have computed the cost from a to e a to f and a to g so we have to use the already computed solution see so this can be a minimum of minimum of so cost of a to e plus distance of e to h similarly cost of a to f plus distance of f to h similarly cost of a to g plus d of g to h so find out we have to find out the minimum cost of a to e so already we have computed cost of a to e which is 5 we got a two paths 5 and 11 among that we have to select the minimum path i am selecting this one so 5 will be the cost of a to e plus d of e h e h it is 18 so which is 23 and cost of AF already computed here AF again we got a two values two possible paths one is with the 12 one is with 7 so we need to find out the we need to consider the lowest path so that means 7 so 7 plus distance from F to H so F to H the distance is 13 so which is a 20 and similarly cost of AG so again we are having a two possible paths among that we have to select the least possible path which is 7 so 7 plus d of g h which is 2 so it will be 9 so among these two 23 29 which one is the lowest so this one is the lowest so we need to consider the 9 right so this is the only one vertex in this stage 4 so that that implies this is the destination okay so now what is the solution for this one what is the path now what is the last one distance of g to h so distance of g to h and which is added with a to g so go to the cost a to g so in this a to g we have considered this one right so a to g that means the distance of d and g so d and g which is computed with a and d cost of a and d go back cost of a and d so which is distance from a and d so which is distance from a and d right and then cost of a comma a so source and destination so this is the shortest path for this particular multi-stage graph you can see a to d which is a 5 d to g which is a 2 g to h again it is 2 so totally 9 is a distance to travel from a to h that means source to destination with a shortest path so you can cross check multiple ways so a to b b to e e to h so it will be 5 plus 18 23 a to c c to f f to h 7 plus 13 is 20 so a to c c to e e to h 2 plus 9 11 plus 18 29 so all other possible paths will give 
more than nine distance more than nine distance so only this particular path that means a followed to b sorry d followed to g followed to h will give the shortest path to travel from source to destination right so hope you understood here we have taken the four stages so you can uh, remember that this the same diagram we have taken for the forward approach also and we have solved it and we got the same path okay for the shortest distance All right so you can cross check so the complete uh, uh, subject link will be uh, posted in the description so you can go through the forward approach and now you can analyze the backward approach so already in for the in the forward approach we have taken one more example with uh, five stages so try to solve that five stages by using the same problem i mean same procedure so you need to get the same path which gives the shortest distance right and comment your suggestions and comment your answer whether you got or if, if you are if you are having any difficulty post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and let's stop here hope you enjoyed the session if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much